Central BCC to all units. Code 33, stand by. Central BCC to Adam. Boy, truck one on tap one. Central, this is U1. Go ahead. Detective 16 Adam requests you respond to code 3 to CP at Fresno Street subway station. We have a 415G. Shots fired with multiple suspects. Officer needs assistance. U1 to Central. We're responding code 3. ETA is transit time. Roger, U1. Be advised, multiple units, including ambulances, are responding. So this is a lot different uh, now. This is Things have really stepped up. This Chekhov gang has had an open fight. We've been pushing them against the wall and now they're fighting back. They've open fired at a subway with a rival gang. And we're being sent in immediately to take them down. We that are now clearing up. That's insane. Wow. Okay. Yeah, we're clearing up the last of the Chekhov gang now. And after this, there's only one more mission in which we take down the Kingpins. That is goddamn brilliant. Wow, this <laughs> the game is really ending in a climactic manner. Yeah, it's got a narrative this time round. Mm, as opposed to before, before the uh, expansion package just kind of fizzled out. Yeah, I, li I like that it's got a narrative in this aspect because you can still ignore it and play through, but it's still very fun to play with. Oh my god, look at the jowls of that guy. Anton Georgiev. Whoa. He's got a Hitler tash. <laughs> I was more concerned with his jawline. Jesus Christ. Very square. Exaggerated. Okay, so this mission sounds like it's going to be um, very, very intense. Since it's uh, taking place in a subway, I assume you're going to have to make use of yeah, the Yeah, because it's in a subway, a we're going to use a sniper rifle with a silencer on it. Uh yeah that actually does make sense okay so i'm just demonstrating here it's very powerful um acts like this sniper rifle with the scope from what you get on certain maps but because this is a non-lethal loadout we're just going to go ahead and use the gas canister launcher okay what does that say there uh feel the love feel burn the love. hate okay and we've got all of these lovely little I, posters. I have to see Sword Sura. That needs to be a thing. I need to make Sword Sura, if that is not already K2, a thing. K2, more like Y2K. Two. That's topical, right? <laughs> <laughs> Fat, Fat beat skinny. skinny. Well, okay. These are some... <laughs> the graffiti artists in this city are very surreal. I'm just going to throw that out there. So we've got Dean of the Dead, a college <laughs> film. <laughs> We should have made that. That looks something that we would have made. We need to make it. Okay, that's cool. And we also had the pirate ninjas versus gummy squange bonglers or whatever it well, was. Well, they're, they're trying too hard now. Mm. We've had enough of pirates and ninjas and all that. So I chose this place to start out because reasons. Mm -hmm. it, it doesn't really make much of a difference. You're... Starting out locations are pretty close together, so... I guess it's how you want to take out the first few people. Mm. Oh but lord. Again, much like every other mission, this mission has its own soundtrack. I haven't really touched upon the audio within the game, but each individual level within the the original game, as well as the expansion pack, has its own soundtrack through the ambience and what's going on right now, the thumping action beat, mm. which you'd have in... And they're, they're all interchangeable, which is nice that they've got something unique for each mission. Very cool. Okay. I'm just going to say, I think we walked past one or two, like... Horribly bloodied and murdered innocent civilians, so I'm guessing this has stepped up to the public as well. Yeah, we have to look after the public. Okay. And, uh, by the night, I didn't mention this, but we had to go in and save a police officer, and there he is. I didn't much save him, he's, uh... He's bleeding out, but he's not dead yet. Oh. As you saw there, he just sort of flopped around for a bit. I'm sure it's not SWAT protocol to, like, arrest someone when they're in a state where you, they can barely, like, function. Or where they're bleeding out. I'm assuming in real life a SWAT team would, uh, I don't know, maybe report the person so that an ambulance can take a hold of them. Escort them out. Yeah. Again, I'm not like 
a member of a squad, so I can't say. Mm. But, but you know, uh, this game has its own uh, functioning system, which is great and all, uh, and it works for what it is. But in context of reality, no, it doesn't. Uh. So I'm splitting up my team, ready to take out part of the first floor. Very nice. Okay. So in this room is where the sniper. Oh rifle, wow! Okay. The sniper rifle is useful in this room if you're going for a lethal loadout. You say uh, in... because you can see right across the room. Oh, okay. And it's very accurate when you zoom in. I guess do they take that whole um, uh, character breathing thing into account that quite a lot of FPSs do? Yeah, it it does that in this. It's a simulator. So, mm. it was unique for its time, like I remember a lot of games at the time didn't have that sort of thing where the, where the character would sort of look around, but in this it kept it in, and now it's a current generation thing. I think I'm kind of a little bit sick of it now, I kind of like playing older games where you just put a crosshair over something, press a button, and it dies. No, well, like, two questions about it. I think you're talking about FPS as like Half-Life, where it's run and gun instead of cover-based. Yeah, I miss games like that. Mm. Would you, uh, would you maybe consider LPing a game like that again? Um, I don't think I can bring anything unique to it, but maybe, mm. maybe do the Half-Life. I don't know. Not really anything I can say about that hasn't been done before, but Freeman's Mind. That's probably one of my favourite takes on Half-Life. Oh yeah, definitely, definitely. But this is SWAT four, not half. Life. Oh yeah, well, I like how you're like kind of managing both parties by standing in between a door frame and looking at both. Yeah, I'm standing them both in at the same time to clear the whole room, mm -hmm. and I managed to luckily taser that guy to the wall somehow. It looks like he would have fucked your shit up if you had not done that. Oh yeah, he's one of the Chekhov members. If we look at his coat, then we can recognise it. Oh, they've from got a... a mission before. Yeah. Oh, okay then. So I've taken that guy's guns away. So the worst he can do is run at us in an aggressive way. Mm. Can, can characters do that? Can they maybe like punch, or is it just you who no. holds that only... secret hidden technique of punch? Only, only I have learned the kung fu <laughs> mastery of punch, of smashing my fist into someone's jawbone like a drunk bar fight. It's an ancient hidden technique only unlocked to SWAT members. Yeah, the ancient Irish uh, had it. <laughs> yeah. And I, ju I just tasted that guy and had an alternate reality viewing suddenly where I had a lethal loadout where I used a sniper rifle. Oh, how did that go for you? Well, now we can hear what it's like to use the sniper rifle. I see. <laughs> wow. Standard golden ice uh, silence the sounds of the pew pew. I was almost taken aback by how you were able to just sit and rapid fire sniper rifle bullets into these people. Oh From yeah, fairly I'm a close. Badass. There's donuts there. Yum. Them. And also that guy. Well, I'm going on a killing spree now because this is an alternate reality. <laughs> oh. And, oh my and god, you, no! If you shoot your SWAT members, they'll get angry and shoot you as well, but. Officer Timsky oh. made a bad end. But, but that was all a, a weird dream when I tasted that guy and saw that reality, so I'm going to carry on now. You should probably consult all your friends, you know, maybe after the mission where you say, uh, you remember when I tased that guy in the third, fourth room, I think it was? I had a horrible, violent vision of me killing all of you. Should I maybe take the day off next week? Something happened. <laughs> oh. I don't want to talk about it. So I blew that guy with the door when it opened, so... One of the guys on the thread said that he's happy for me to blow him apart without shouting at him because it's the door that's killing him. Well, and if I was... that's the case, let's kill everyone like that. That was my favourite comment of the day. <laughs> Apart from that time that I saw first in my comment section. Which, <laughs> oh, yeah. Which actually made me laugh in an ironic way. That was my first idiot. <laughs> exactly. I'm not even big enough to attract that attention. Come on, All right, you baby. Asthma. 
Yeah. See, the so moment we handcuffed him, he stopped coughing. He was faking it. He's like a little kid who doesn't want to go to school. Feel sick. <laughs> don't want to go. Don't want to go into SWAT school. Officer Timsky shot us all of the time in the back of the head with a sniper rifle. How am I still alive? Those doctors are good. With you. All right. So this so... is the other spawn location on the other side of that hall. You said they were fairly close together. This was a bit of a distance, wasn't it? Well, no. If you just cross those two hallways, then you're in the same room as where you started. Oh, okay then. So there's a guy there. He's one of our friends. Uh -huh. But there's stairs there. And stairs are dangerous in my manner because... Um, if you ever get a mattress and slide down the stairs, then it's a lot of fun, but... Uh, no, <laughs> this is this is SWAT procedure. This is, we can't get a mattress in here. I don't know why, but I genuinely believe, genuinely believe that with this game's physics engine, you were able to do that. But I, I know that is not the case. There's no physics. I'd love there to be vehicle physics in this. Like if there was a, like a driving section. I know, like I'm not really big on forced driving sections, but a mission where you have to sort of there's a chase and you're being sent out to drive in front of them. And deploy your team to take out the drivers of another vehicle. That would be kind of interesting, in my opinion. Hmm. I mean, it'd be like it'd be a car chase scene. Don't get me wrong, but it wouldn't be ridiculous over the top. Blues GTA Brothers action stuff. movie GTA. It would instead be like watching an episode of Road Wars, but you play as the as the pursuing policeman. Oh, definitely. Yeah. Hmm. Um. But maybe that's that happens in LA Noir, doesn't it? Not. I've never played L.A. Noir, honestly, but I really should. And neither have I. But all these kiosks, they're like in a rail subway. We're just going to check under the door using our magic wand. And there's a guy there. <gasps> blow him away, blow him away. I was tempted to, but I was worried at this point that I had had too many guys killed. Oh, oh. Um, that I would fail the mission. I, I know I should have, but... I'll make that up to you in the next video. Thank Don't you. Worry. Thank you. The next and final video will contain all the doors being blown into people's faces. Uh, even better than that, my friend. Oh, bear punching, bear wrestling. The bear will finally happen. <laughs> yeah, sure. Why not? I can splice that in somehow. <laughs> it won't be. It, it won't be spot for bear punching, but fuck it. I'll like, I Photoshop it somehow. <laughs> that would be the best. <laughs> Now I have to load up Skyrim and find a bear. That shouldn't be too hard. Okay, um... <clears throat> so there's a guy around the corner there. We're just going to pick the lock so he doesn't hear us coming through this door and we can taser him in the balls. Specifically in the balls. You can't taser him anywhere else. Because that would well, just not be right. The kidneys are sometimes acceptable, but... Actually, we're going we're gonna to throw a grenade at him. If your teammate had not, like, opened the door for you just there, would that grenade have blown up in your hand? Yes. No. No, <laughs> oh. it doesn't blow up in your hand. Okay. Because you seem to be cooking it, so I was a little... <laughs> I was a little worried for a moment. No, grenades don't actually work like that. Well, surely if you pull the pin, they do explode. No, a because there's a little lever on them as well as a pen. Ah. Hmm. I've never thrown a grenade, so I wouldn't know this, but what, the lever... Nor have I! Does the lever only work once you've thrown it, or, or once it's made contact, or something? Uh, as my understanding, you have to pull the pin for the lever to come off, and once the lever comes off, then the grenade is ready to explode. Ah. And there's a, there's a condom advert there, so... Oh, yeah, good. Stay safe, kids. This is an educational LP. Real Timsky top tip, wear a tippy top on your hat. <laughs> That's the British way of saying it. Yep. Um, oh. There's some love candy. Oh. Because it's not Valentine's Day. Some not and to do ourselves. A lot of people don't know that, but that's actually my family brand of cigarettes in the background. Mm, yeah. Cash only is my surname. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> what? Okay. It's Western. Uh, whoa. Yeah, I actually... I had a lot of FPS issues with this mission. I wasn't rendering anything at the time, so I'm not really sure why it was. But actually, I realised it's because I had fiddled some things around. 
oh, uh, some to play options. Swap for, uh, to play Spec Ops the Line. Oh, right. Yeah, um, Spec Ops the Line. I was actually thinking about doing something about that because it's amazing. Um, not I've... necessarily an LP. Ah, oh, right. Well, I've heard that the um, story is breathtaking. Don't get me wrong, but the gameplay is not quite as good as it could be. Well, it's as good as a cover-based shooter can be. Okay. But yeah, we when we opened the door, one of my teammates shot a guy in the face with a shotgun of some kind. But we got one of the rival gang members, not the Shchekov gang. Um, one hmm. of the hoodlums. I'm just looking for the gun that this guy dropped. And I clipped Is into it the in bin. the bin? <laughs> I'm, I'm in the bin. Look at me, guys. I'm in the bin now. Now I, look, I I, bash... look, I'm Oscar the Grouch. Let me do the voice. Go ahead. I don't, I'm Oscar the Grouch. I don't know how he talks. This isn't as bad as the clipping that's in Sony Vegas or whatever the game was called. <laughs> oh, Rainbow Six Vegas, yeah. Yeah, where I clipped through one of the walls and killed you. Yes. Do you still have that video? Uh, yeah, I do. I, I was probably going to cut it together at some point. Um, I was kind of iffy about it. Um, you know. I think it went okay. If people want to see it, I'll put it out. Okay. I've got a lot of work to do, David. <laughs> Maybe you should calm down, right? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm not God, I can't do everything at once. You know, I'm just one man with one computer. It's a pretty beastly computer, though. Yeah, but I'm a pretty beastly man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so... A bit of the audio got caught off there. If you didn't hear it, hopefully you did. If not, I'll mute David's laughter <laughs> so you can hear it. Um, but uh, we just phoned up our control to talk about how there's a lot of blood everywhere and we need a clean-up crew in there. Um, it doesn't actually come up, but I have a theory for all the bodies were thrown off onto the station rails where we can't see them. Oh lord, that's awful. Mm. Yeah. Thing is, I guess this is the um, aftermath of the gang war because it doesn't look... I was expecting when this level started for you to like step in and there to be like two massive groups of people all firing at each other and you fire, you know, at both of them. Mostly this Chekhov gang has one. Okay. But we're going to go into the under tunnels here in the utility tunnels and just scout around and clean everything up. Lovely. Yeah, there's a locker room there. Corners. I could always mirror around them, but I've gotten to the point now where I'm happy just peeking around and popping a grenade in their face. Like this. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Oh, no. He wasn't getting out of that alive. I was going to say, he was. He kind of got lucky there being choked out by the gas, because the alternative looked really painful. Yeah, having ball bearings morph through your face blast through a 12 gauge isn't exactly pleasant. Yeah. I mean, uh, you know, I, I've never enjoyed I've never enjoyed that, really, myself. I'm not partial to it. Paintballing is better. <laughs> <laughs> and less painful. Oh, no, no, we should go paintballing sometime. Yeah, SWAT 4, uh, episode uh, 2500. I'll try my absolute best to uh, re-emulate this game for you by hiding around corners, firing at you repeatedly, and uh, complaining that you're in my way. Often, when we're on the same side. Yeah. Sure, why not? That's actually, we could always do that. You know. <laughs> we shouldn't be discussing this on an open LP. This is informative. Well, you okay. Mad man. You're looking through a door. You're looking underneath the door. You're opening the gas and clearing. Okay. <laughs> You're opening the bang and clearing. D dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> dickhead. Okay. <clears throat> Friendship. So what I like about this level is that it's very straightforward. It's in you can go in a circuit. But I do actually point this out uh, later. I missed a few guys. Oh. And... So you have to do a bit of uh, backtracking, backtracking then. Yeah, but it turns out as a loop, so you just loop around until you find everyone. I could always blockade the doors, but I forgot about that. Um... Well, I don't know, have you, have you heard anybody or had anybody run away from you yet? Or have you really kind of 
no. may do with them quickly. No, I, I, because I, I've gotten used to the fact that I should tie people up pretty quickly. Mm. I learned that after the first level, uh, second level rather, where a guy ran towards me and shot me in the head. Uh, so that stuck with you, I guess. Yeah, and the bullet stuck in my brain. <laughs> Your cop is uh, mentally damaged to the rest of the game. This is all a haze. He's in the hospital right now. <laughs> None of this is happening. The twist ending. The uh, M. Night Shyamalan ending of SWAT 4. What a twist. So uh, how are you going to deal with this bloke here? Well, um, he. there looks like there's an area just beyond him which completes the circuit of this door where my team is. So I'm going to lock him in there for now. Ah. And when I look back, I'll catch him on my way. That's very clever. I like that plan. Damn right, it's clever. It's from me, the smartest man made of matter. Get her open and clear it. He lied. So, I have lost a teammate. Hmm. Right. So there he is. <laughs> Just completely non-reactive to all the shit happening behind him. Like, what's and... going on right now? Hmm. Sadly, there is a clipping issue with non-lethal weapons with that door. That only door. Oh. You can't take him down non-lethal, so you have to take him out through another bit. Through this door. I see. And I'm going to move very slowly so he doesn't react, and I'm going to sneak up on him, solid snake style. I look forward to this. If he does catch you, I expect you to uh, put in a exclamation mark over his head. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, you got him. Yeah. Still gonna put in the explanation mark, though. <laughs> as you as you shoot him. If I can find the noise that it makes, which I probably can't. Wait, is that guy really... What is really... your wife doing later? <laughs> yeah, the... You're talking most to in... a SWAT member, you That's idiot. the most inappropriate time for that quip. <laughs> You're being arrested a by a SWAT member. So, uh, how's it the wife? Huh? You Finger and me, Predilo, huh? Mm. Oh, I guess the um, the sketch of group don't have much in the way of decorum. Mm. They're like Romeo from Grand Theft Auto. Mm. Oh, Roman, you mean? Four. Oh, shit, that's his name, yeah. Or Romeo from the original Shakespeare play. He is a bit oh. of a creeper. But well, not just that, he was with someone at the beginning. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah, the toilets were empty. Uh, I just gassed the toilets for no reason. So let's fast forward as I backtrack through the rest of the game. Uh, Swap the member the activated mission. agility. Whoop! Yeah, I'm like one of the police officers from Crackdown, where they have superpowers. Ah, I see. Uh, a lot of people pointed out that you can use the glow lights, the glow sticks, to mark off areas, so I was doing that for funsies, uh, because I'm not actually playing with anyone. I don't have any friends. I see. Or well, any friends who are good at this game at all, i.e. me. Yeah, and you don't have your own copy. <laughs> that too. <laughs> and you use a Mac, you loser. Nothing wrong with Macs. Well, you know, students use Macs. So. Yeah, pretty much. I just realised there's a lot of squelching when you crawl through the toilets. Uh, yeah. Mm. Gross so you little detail. Actually, you can't actually go down to the tracks. There's an invisible wall stopping you. That could have led to a very uh, violent, gory death. Mm. Actually, in fact, do any trains pass through or has this uh, station been shut off? No, they've they've been caught. They've been shut off. Yeah. Ah. Uh, uh, story I have kind of relating to this to this level. The subway in particular is a. Uh, well, I'm going to my... have to hold you there, David, because we're just going to peep onto this door, which I didn't notice the first loop round, and there's actually two people in Ooh. here. Rival gang members hiding out in the same toilet. <laughs> it's like a romance. <laughs> That's beautiful. Not really a ro romance if there's a bit of oil spilled on the floor of the bathroom, is it? Uh, it's but a I'm gritty gonna use romance. The old... I'm going to use the door tactic of gassing out the room, opening the door and hiding before... <laughs> They get infected with the gas. <laughs> no, they look like they were just about to engage in a beautiful embrace before you stepped in, gassed, and tasered them. 
We want to share a jail cell. Just like that song says we should. See, if I were in this room, I'd have taken off the mask and pretended to be an innocent bystander. Yeah, they don't think of that. Um, Maybe you I mean, take your guns and hide, flush them down the toilet or hide them Guns somewhere. don't fit down the U-bend. Okay, I, I saw there was a ledge just uh, ahead, uh, on top of them. Throw your guns up there, take off your masks... Act terrified, and you know the SWAT won't know who you are, so you'd get off scot free. You still get arrested though in this game. A guy managed to. How did he get there? I wonder. Hmm. I mean, I cleared this area out, but oh well. He was the last guy. We're and you're done. Him. Yeah. Very nice. Now continue with that story. Um, twenty-first birthday. I couldn't get home and enjoy my wonderful birthday dinner on time because someone had thrown themselves in front of my train while I was on it. The selfish bastard. Yeah, what That's a wanker. so sad. <laughs> I don't feel bad for the fucker. What would have been more humiliating if there was a replacement bus service that day and there were no trains? <laughs> oh, no. But yeah, well done me. I managed to pass with the same sort of SWAT qualifications that I used.